big idea, a new world order. G'day and welcome to the Conspiracy Podcast. My name's Josh Wade. On today's episode, I've got a good friend of mine, Brett White. Brett is best known uh, for just being an absolute fucking troll of a cunt uh, on the internet. Uh, he's been on a current affair. He's done a bunch of other different things. I don't really know how to describe Brett. He's definitely a bit of an enigma, uh, but definitely a really interesting and fascinating guy. We travel down the world of tabloid news. We talk about Brett being a diagnosed psychopath and uh, and what that means and sort of the buzzword around it. That is definitely a fascinating part of the show. Uh, and then we talk about uh, fucking a lot of conspiracies. If you're into conspiracies, this is the episode for you. Uh, we go down some crazy stuff. I knew it was going to get crazy when Brett brought up the fucking Holocaust. Uh, that's when it went down a bloody, a real big rabbit hole. So um, uh, fucking uh, enjoy the fucking show. If you want to support us on Patreon, help us keep continuing doing the show, you can. Uh, the YouTube ads have just shit all over us and they fucking basically disqualified a bunch of our videos. So fuck them. So we do rely on your support to help us fund doing this show every week, and we really do appreciate the support that you guys have been giving us. So uh, the links will be down below. Otherwise, uh, this is my podcast with Brett White, and enjoy the episode. G'day, and welcome to the Conspiracy Podcast. My name's Josh Wade. Today, my guest, Mr. Brett White. How are you going? Good, mate. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We've been having a, a good good little chat to start the show, but I suppose for everyone that um, isn't familiar with, with what you've done and where you're coming from... Um, where did you start? Where, Where did, did I start? start? Let's just say... What would you call yourself first so people get an idea? Or what... Digital what you... marketer yep. slash troll slash <laughs> guy who doesn't really give a fuck at the end of the day yep. about whatever. Yep. Um, so back in 2012, I got on the current affair with a click of my fingers. Yep. Yep. So we came... It was me and mate, his missus, my missus at the time. Uh, we decided to go to the comics lounge, funnily enough. Mm. Got drunk, got kicked out, drove home, petrol light came on, everyone's like, what are we going to do? And I said, I'm going to steal fuel and you're going to film and I'm going to get on a current affair in a couple of weeks. Uh-huh. Yeah? yeah? I got on a current affair in a couple of weeks. Yep. That's what happened. Then I trolled the fuck out of Australia and Tracy Grimshaw. Is that video still on YouTube? Yep. Okay, we might put it up in the thing. Australia's dumbest petrol thief, a young idiot who takes great delight in ripping off service stations, having his mates film it, and then putting it out there for the world to see. Are you starved of affection, are you? No, not at all. Starved of attention? You can twist this whatever way you want. No, I'm asking you. No, not at all. So that's sort of how you, I guess, with, with that, with that flick of the bloody fingers, that's when you threw yourself into sort of a... An interesting world of online and real, like, fucking with cunts, really, yeah, yeah. essentially. And um, I suppose from there, you, you were involved in a few different uh, groups like... Um, Face Beef. Face Beef and that yeah. early on in the day. I had my own um, Facebook page under yeah. my name, Brett White. Yeah, that's um, my first sort of little cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I had like 55,000 fans. I think Face Beef at its most had... Over that, it was like yeah. 65, 75,000 fans at one yeah. point um, with Tristan and Nebs at the yeah. time. Yeah. And whoever else was a part of it. Yeah. And then um, that all went to shit. Yeah. And then... There was a few pages of, of that as well. It got taken down quite a few times. <sighs> yeah, it got, it got taken down like five or six times, I think, from memory. Yeah. Um, then Today Tonight went down the shitter. They got... they Get got to. Yeah, because Tristan bitch slapped. Yeah. Um... I can't even remember his name. Yeah, yeah. no, I can't I either. Was that was that the that was that he was, was in New Zealand, but it was in yeah. I think they filmed it over in New Zealand. Yeah, but he was it was Australian Today Tonight, and then yeah. uh, Today Tonight didn't exist anymore after that. No, they didn't. They yeah, went they down were. the shitter real yeah. quick. Um, <laughs> yeah, geez, that's, uh, well, I mean, we want to get Tristan on and, and speak to him a bit a bit more about that because that's a <laughs> he had a real roller coaster with him. Like it was yeah, probably more like, than anyone else. Yeah. I don't think I could name one public figure that ever had a, a run up, with a show like that. Dressed up like Hitler and bitch slapped. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. It was a fucking, it was a, you it was know, a fair whack. It was a fair <laughs> whack. I remember sitting there watching it and going, holy Yeah, I was like, shit. okay, like just holy sh- shit. shit on AC. Firstly, <laughs> firstly, I was like, like, so I, I'm, I've had like these two, like the two, the angel and the yeah. devil on my shoulder sitting there going, yeah, fucking good on him. And the other part going, Oh Tristan, you've just yeah. what have you done? I don't know what they're gonna do, you but upset someone. Well, yeah, you've yeah. not just upset. You've not just hit someone, but now you've got fucking a gang, a mob yep. of 
are a, and a pool of money that they have behind them that's unlimited. Unlimited funds. That they will that they will do whatever they can. But, but he prevailed. <laughs> he did, which is the shocking thing, mm. yeah. Like, it was a really shocking thing. to Still to me to this day, I'm just like, how the fuck did you get out of that, dude? Mm. Because, I, like, when I look back on my current affair thing, yeah, and I was like, and what they tried to do to me after it, mm. they tried to get me killed, yeah, at the end of the day. That's how I felt about it. When I went down for my interview, Nick Coe, who interviewed me, he said, hey, dude, we're going to ruin your fucking life, yeah? And then, like, the camera started, like, started rolling. They started mm. interviewing me, right? And I was like, okay, that's how it is, yeah? Mm. And then when I looked at Tristan bitch slapping, you know, whatever the fuck his name was, mm. I was just like, wow, they're going to fucking kill him. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. thought, like, they were actually going to get rid of him. Yeah. And then today, tonight, it's like, bye-bye. You know, they're gone. I was yeah. like, okay, we've got some... You know, hardcore motherfuckers on our side. Because you know? there was there was a few. Um, I don't know. It, I don't know if it was the same journalist, but there was a journalist at the time that was sort of running after him. I forget his name. Um, uh, but he was. He was. I think he was sort of the one that started the. Yeah, he's a dude that interviewed his old man and stuff. Yeah, uh-huh. and lied. But they put the old. They brought the old man into it. They brought yeah. the whole. Yeah. It was a. It was a witch hunt. It yeah, was yeah, it was. It was. Hunt. And then because he got found to be a liar. Right, that's where I think everything started turning to shit. Mm. Right, so they've um, dubbed his old man's voice, trying to make out that his dad said something that he didn't, mm. and then it obviously got found out to be a lie. Yep. Oh, I forget his name. I have to look it up. They're grubs. Yeah. They're yeah, grubs. Yeah, I we um, I mean, I I talk. I've done this video about Chappelle Colby, which we were talking about before, yeah. and and um. I mean, I won't go into it now, but she's she's innocent. She's one hundred percent innocent. Yeah. Um, but she, uh, her sister sued a current affair and ABC because they just kept calling her convicted drug smuggler Chappelle Corby, and then they said that her dad was involved with drugs <laughs> uh, just after the dad had died because you can't sue a dead yeah, man. Of course. Um, and uh, they won. They won the case yeah. against and and they ABC and that had to apologise for calling, saying that the father was connected to drugs and that the whole family was in with it. So they, their their practices are they don't give malicious. A shit. Yeah, they no. don't give a shit at the end of the day, right? So how they ran my interview, right? Mm. So I had just changed where I was living. I had just moved house the night that they um, started airing the ads that they were going to put me on TV, right? Oh, did they do a fucking run of ads? Every four, no. fourth set of ads for 23 hours, right? I was the most viewed, I think I was in the top three most viewed episodes for the entire year, yeah? So it was 800,000 Australians saw me get on TV, yeah. right, for that year. So every fourth set of ads for 23 hours before I was actually on TV, that's how long they ran it. And, you know, I log on Facebook when I'm just moved into the house that I was moving into and I use someone else's phone and I check Facebook, right? Mm. And I've got like 40-something messages on Facebook saying, you're fucked, dude. You're on current affair tomorrow night. What the fuck have you done? And I was like, okay, this is cool. All right, sweet. That was after you got interviewed though? No, nah, it was before I got interviewed. Oh, yeah, this okay. is the night before I got interviewed. <clears throat> and I was like, holy shit. Because I've uploaded the video yeah. of me stealing petrol, Yeah. right? Um, I got it off my mate who filmed me. Yeah. Uploaded it to Facebook. I called it. Petrol Thief Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Because I knew it was going to get eventually get on face. Yeah. Uh, sorry, a current affair because I had a lady who was, um, shared the shits with me. It was some girl's mum who I kept uploading videos to on YouTube, yeah, who was like cracked out and giving guys lap dances for ice, right? And I kept oh, uploading, Fred. I kept <laughs> uploading videos of her, yeah. And her mum was like schizophrenic and all this shit. And I knew that if I uploaded the video of me stealing petrol, she'd dub me into a current affair. Uh, she okay. did. Yeah, yeah. And I got proof of her actually saying that, ha ha, yeah. I've dubbed him in. He's yeah. fucked, you know? Yeah. And I was like, okay, sweet. I'm yeah. good on TV. I'm famous now. Yeah. So it was, yeah. It was a trap. Yeah, it was a trap. And she fell for it. I got on TV. And then I just didn't think I was going to get on TV that fast. Yeah. Okay. Like, it was like happened way, way, way too fast for me. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Everyone's like, don't go on TV. Don't do the interview. Yeah, this is the night that I moved. Like I literally, the night that I moved house was the night that um, they started running the ads. Yeah, and I was like, holy shit, what am I going to do? And I'm like, yeah, mm. I'll laugh it off. Next morning, <clears throat> I go around to my cousin's house and I check my YouTube messages, yeah, and a current affair message me. They're like, oh, do you want to um, do an interview? 
And I was like, all right, sweet. So I well, they my, were going to run a hit piece yeah, anyway. So yeah, I may as well get on there and just it. fucking talk shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, all right, fuck it. And everyone's like, don't do it, don't do it. They're going to make you look bad. I'm like, I don't know how much more worse. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know I, I, I've, I've just already stole fuel. petrol. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then, um, so um, I, get, I give them my phone number. They ring me, all right? And some jerk off rings me from a current affair, mm. you know, some producer. And I'm like, He's like, I'm like, oh, how'd you get the video? You know, how'd you find out the video? He goes, oh, we've got people at work all day, you know, that are searching YouTube for oh, shit like this. And I was fucked. like, I was like, okay, cunt. You know, I was like, I knew he was full of shit. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so he's like, all right, we want to do an interview. And I'm like, okay, sweet. Where do you want to meet? And he goes, Bayswater train station. Yeah, and I, straight away I knew, I'm like, I'm not going to meet you with the backdrop as a train station. It yeah, just yeah. makes me look like a worse, yeah, you know, yeah, than exactly. I already do. <laughs> right? So I was like, all right, I'll be there. I'll be at Bayswater Train Park, right? So mm. there's like, they're building like new townhouses behind, you know, where I yeah. got filmed and stuff like that. And I show up an hour late. <laughs> 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 you got it. I yeah, won't say what I was they, doing. <laughs> they would have, they would have happily stayed yeah, there. Yeah, they were. But they they, they were swinging. They were swinging on the swings. Yeah. Oh, they would do the fuck. Nick Curry and these fucking the jerk off filming it. Yeah. There was three of them, <clears throat> and then um, so I roll up. I've got my hoodie on. I'm looking like a fuckwit. You know what I mean? Like I got my glasses. Nah, on. you're looking like a fucking menace. <laughs> <laughs> I roll up in you know this car. I've got my cousin and a mate with me. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how this happens, right? But Nick Curry's car and, you know, that they showed up in, their tires all get slashed while I'm getting... Oh, that's a shame. While I'm getting, you know, interviewed. Yeah. Don't know how that happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but then, um, so as soon as I walk up to him, right, he's like, oh, hey, Brett, thanks for showing up. Yeah, and he goes, shakes my hand. He goes, it's good that you want to give your side of the story. And I said, mate, my side of the story is I fucking stole a fuel, dickhead. Yeah, and he goes, we're going to ruin your fucking life, mate. And then they started filming, right? So throughout the video... That yeah. would have just quickly though, that would have fucking thrown them because they, they would have thought that they were going to come up I, against opposition and, and I told got something them, good. I, but I told them that I was actually innocent, yeah, up yeah. until that getting point, up. Okay. Yeah, so it threw them off. So anyway, I get there. That all happens. Eight minutes. There's an eight and a half minute interview. Yeah, uh -huh. they showed, I don't know, probably 45 seconds of it. Yeah. Yeah. And how they do their interviews is real shifty, right? So they put their dodgy music over it. Yeah, that mm -hmm. makes you sound like a pedo, you know, dun, like just, dun, just, dun, just, just all this whack and whack shit. Black and white. Yeah. Like, just like these weird... Yeah, they slow the video down so you're like... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, it's it's like, like, have you seen that Simpsons episode where yeah. Yeah. Uh, Homer like gets his gummy bear off yeah. his chick's ass? I was watching like, the other night. They just, they just like change it into yep. this. I that's think exactly that's exactly the same but thing. But it is. That's the joke yep. that they're making is yep. this is shit. But anyway, yeah, keep going. It's, it's the truth. And then... um. So what they do is, right, they ask Nick Coe or whoever's interviewing you will ask yeah. you a question, right? As he asks you a question, the cameraman will lunge forward at you, but at the same time, he'll zoom out, yeah? Uh, so I've it's seen still, that. so whoever's watching, the, mm. yeah, it still looks like the same thing's happening. Yeah. And then, um, and the viewer on TV is unaware of what's actually happening. Yeah. And because they're lunging towards you, you're going to react to that generally, right? Yeah. So if you are asked a question... Then you pause while you're um, trying to respond to that. You look, you look like you're guilty, yeah. Yeah. Because you're trying to think. You're like, oh shit, what's that? You'll notice that, that I probably handle it better than most people that have ever been interviewed on Current Affair before. Is I won't react to it. You'll see my eyes move. Like I'll be looking at the ground, and my eyes will slightly move to the right or the left, whatever way you look. You know that I'm looking at. Yeah. And that's the guy stepping forward to me. Yeah. And he doesn't just step forward. He like jumps at you yeah yeah trying to get a reaction as soon as nick Kerr asks a question yeah and it's just like all right sweet i know what i've got to do here yeah? i'm just gonna talk shit mm. yeah just straight up shit mm. and you'll notice that in the interview um he's like oh so you like stealing where i'm like yeah i love stealing he's like oh you know like he's like what the yeah, fuck you know, i wasn't yeah. expecting this shit yeah. he's like so you like stealing do you i'm like yeah i fucking love it i just steal all the time he goes all right then you know like i'm getting paid to do this you know he's like trying to big note himself to me and it's just like all right there's no way that I can make this look like I'm no, a good dude. person. But so, like you're getting paid for it. Like you ended up, I don't know how, like he's a middle-aged man on a current affair. Yeah, he ended so up getting fired after that. good enough to be on <laughs> the Today Show or even the host. You couldn't even get the host job yep. of a current affair. <laughs> get over yourself, big dog. You just failed. You failed yeah. and this is what the last thing that you ended up doing. Yeah, it was. chasing fucking petrol thieves. Yeah. Can I ask just quickly, how much petrol was it? Seventy four dollars. Seventy four of, of premium. 
premium. Yeah, uh, well, yeah if you're going to do it, go go yeah. big or go home. <coughs> and just as you're a basic... hear the inner workings of how it went down, right? I've rolled up to this service station, yeah, which is like a local one to where I used to live in Montana, mm-hmm. right? Now, I knew that a current affair didn't have... They didn't know what the servo was or or anything like okay. that because otherwise the police would have been there to arrest me once I got my interview done because mm. that would have been higher ratings for them. And they yeah. would have done that shot where they go yep, from the like, highway yep. to the petrol <laughs> station like that. Yeah. It's at this. Yep. <laughs> so you notice that they didn't even do... Mm. They didn't even show what servo it was. No. Because the dude who worked at the servo, he didn't want to get in trouble either. All right. So what happened was I've rolled up at the servo. This is unintentional as well. Mm. I've pulled up at a Bowser with a camera. It doesn't work. Yeah. Now this is back in 2012. The camera still doesn't work to this day on this Bowser. Yeah. Because I've gone back in there and pinched fuel again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. You're... I have to edit. Yeah. You know, like when I get a Porsche, yeah, I'll still fuel again. Like, yeah. I have to. It's okay. just, it just has to be done. I'm glad you're fucking <laughs> Fuck you, the rowdiest cunt we've had on here yet. Cunts better get something out of this. Yeah. <laughs> this is value for fucking money. Don't Actually, ever, it's don't free. Ever, it's don't free. ever steal from BP. Yeah. Don't steal from BP. You've they, heard it here from got, Brett White. They've got the, um, they know if your rego is current. Yeah, if you've got okay. your regos, like especially in the East Link, yeah. If you pull up at East Link and you've got um, no rego, they won't let you get fuel. Yeah, because oh. they can, the servo attendant can do whatever and check if you register current with okay. big roads. That's yep. like some shifty secret. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, where was I? Okay, so I pull up at the Bowser, right? It's like 11 o'clock at night and, you know, we're all giddy and all that shit and the servo attendant walks outside, yeah, to put shit into the dumpster. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I'm like, holy fuck, it couldn't happen any better. Yeah. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I already knew straight away what, what I was going to say. I was going to just walk up. I was going to pretend to steal fuel. Yeah. Yeah. And then walk up to him off camera because he's at the, yeah. you know, the bin and say, hey, mate, just put this in your pocket. Go put this in a till once I've driven off. I'm just filming some dumb video yeah. for YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then when, if I got caught by the police, I was just going to turn and say, nah, he pocketed the money. Yeah. Never went down that day way so I didn't have to worry. So he's just put it off as a drive off, I'm assuming. And then, yeah, never got caught for it. So he got money though for it? No. Nah. No, nah, okay. No, nah, yeah. that was just going to be my backup story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got pinched by the police and yeah, it never went down that way anyway, so I didn't have to worry about it. So nothing ever, so nothing, nothing legally ever eventuated from it? No. Nah. Nah. Isn't that amazing? Yep. That that you stole $74 worth of petrol yep. and the, the thing that came out of that was a fucking current affair hit piece <laughs> and they couldn't even get the fucking cops onto it. Yeah. So. I went on national television, right, in front of 800,000 Australians and said that I stole fuel. It, <laughs> you know, it enraged the fuck out of everyone. <laughs> it enraged the fuck out of a lot of people, yeah. People like sending to jail. It's like I've already been to jail. Hmm. Like that wasn't going to bother me. I thought, yeah. Like why would I fucking steal fuel? And when I've been to jail for worse things than, you know, you don't go to jail for stealing fuel. It's just a fucking petty crime. Yeah. So um, people were, were demanding that conscription comes back. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, yeah. you know, you turn 17, you got to go to the fucking army like, mm. because I stole fuel. Okay. So few, a few questions to that yeah. then. So now that we've got that story. One, because people it will fucking hate me if I don't ask you. <laughs> Where does that behavior come from? Because that's not something, you know, you're an everyday <laughs> fucking Sherilyn's not going to go and steal the fuel. So where where did it start in your childhood? You've obviously like, where did that rebellion come from? I'm a diagnosed and, psychopath. Okay, here we yeah. go. <laughs> so, actually, I'll fix that. I'm a diagnosed narcissistic psychopath. Okay, that sounds more hectic. Yeah, so... That's like Hitler type shit. All psychopaths are narcissists, but all, not all narcissists are psychopaths. Okay. All right. So, can you explain what that is? For all right, so pretty much, there's two different types of psychopaths. You're either genetically a psychopath, or uh-huh. you're environmentally made into one. Uh-huh. Whereas, if you're beaten to the shit house as a child, yeah. um, grow up in a really bad environment, yeah. stuff like that, that's not me. Yeah, they generally grow up and be serial killers and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just giving a real shit way of explaining this. The no, other no, ones but they'll who, get it. Yeah, the other ones who grow up. Um, and run, you know, like your Wall Street type oh, CEO, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> they're psychopaths. Politicians, yeah, yeah, they're all psychopaths. Yeah. They're the genetic yeah. type. So does that go back to, I know we were getting to that a little, a little later, but, you know, there's obviously some sort of, um, when you look at the royal family and you look at um, dictatorships and families, 
no one really talks about it, but it's like to to be royalty yeah. is essentially to have a set of genes. Yeah. The exact same set of genes. So what's so important about these genes that they want to keep to keep it in a certain group yeah, of people? Yeah, in the family and keep... Yeah, and know, obviously breeding, incest and... Interbreeding. Thing, yeah. uh, but interbreeding, but also, um, you know, I've heard a lot of stories of, you know, Princess Diana and a bunch of other people where... Um, they're almost hand-picked. These these people to join the fold are yeah. hand-picked because it goes back to numerology, yep. and they were born on certain days. And they may, you know, <laughs> how you always hear like Donald Trump, and Hillary Clinton are related, and all these different things. And yep. and then you look into it and you go, well, yeah, everyone's related at some point. But there's there is where there's smoke, there's fire. I think, and yeah. I think there's something obscure about that. But you know, you look at George Bush and and all these people. I think Obama was probably the the best person at pretending not to be a psychopath while he's droning yeah. fucking everyone at the same time. I heard, just quickly, I, I yep. just can't shut up at this point. <laughs> I heard, uh, I was watching a Joe Rogan podcast the other day and he was he brought up a brilliant point about, um, you know, if you're a president and you can, can sit back and go, okay, we're going to do 8,000 drone strikes right now. We're going to yep. drone people. Uh, we, there's a potential chance that we kill the enemy, but at the same time, we may kill 100 children and, and civilians at the same time. What sort of person says yes to that and then thinks, and, and they do, they all say yes to that, but then people would discount the idea that, you know, if, if you're a president and someone knows something about you or your administration, that they wouldn't pull the trigger on you as well. Like, it's pe- people are very quick to assume that that would never happen in politics, but... I know we've just travelled down a whole nother yeah. fucking. We went from genes to that, but, um, <laughs> but let, let's go back to the gene stuff. We'll yeah. get we get back into it. So, genetic psychopath. So, growing up as a kid, how did you see yourself? Because you would have seen yourself differently to other people. I'm assuming. Still or, do to this day, every yep. day. Yeah. So it's like the way the best way to describe it is a lion in you know in the jungle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He just wakes up every day. He needs to hunt, survive. Mm-hmm do things differently than any other animal that's out there, yeah? Mm. So you get people who are just sheep. There's I class them, right? Or I, cl- I even call them non-player characters, yeah? Mm. <laughs> the non-playable characters, yeah. right? So they're NPCs. Same as any other game, right? They're just people that need to be told what to do. They're just filling background space behind mm. you in your life. The extras of yeah, life. They're extras, yeah, they're extras. They're mm. extras. We all know it. If you don't know that there's extras in your life there's something wrong with you yeah you're you probably an extra yourself the... you know what yeah. i mean yeah well, you think that when you drive down the street you see all these people and, and you stop or you're in a shopping center yeah you're it's like, like where the fuck are all these person... people going day to day yeah if there's a lot of life yeah it's like they're all driving cars right but they don't have jobs and you're mm. you could drive down you could drive around all day every day yeah and there's thousands of people for mm. the entire day yeah and you're telling me that only three or four percent of people are unemployed but where the fuck are all these people driving to Mm. Yeah, that's why. That's why I think when I'm driving around. Yeah, it's it's a bizarre thing. Um, you wh- you get people who will only they'll coast through life. Yeah, mm. so they'll get a job, they'll get married, they'll have kids, but they don't do anything massive, you know, in their life. When you meet someone and they, you know that they're going to be something big, right? There's, there's, a, a, there's a massive fucking yeah. difference between the two. People, you can yeah. feel, you can yeah. sense it around someone. You go, yeah. that person's got, whether it be talent in, in a creative field or something, you go, you feel I'm walking into yeah. a room, you go, shit's up, something's up. Yeah, mm. this dude's going to go somewhere one day. Mm. Yeah, I don't know where it is, but it's, you know, it could be something different than what you think they're going to do. Say with you, when we first met, mm. I knew what you were going to do. A lot, a lot of shit's happened in the past four years. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously two kids, fucking obviously the same mum. Um... That's been the best thing ever, yeah. It's like becoming a dad. Mm. Yeah. That, How did that change your outlook on? <sighs> did you? Because you took a, a people, step right? back. Yeah, a lot of people will turn around and think that the minute you become a dad, yeah, your whole life changes. Mm. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, oh. straight up, it is garbage. Yeah? yeah. I sat there and I was like, okay, I'm watching my son be born. Yeah, and I think, okay, my whole entire life is going to change overnight. Yeah. It doesn't. It takes a period of time. Yeah. 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 Like anyone who sits there and goes, I'm going to be the fucking best dad that, that there is. Not saying that I'm not a good dad to yeah, my kids. Yeah. But you get this whole thought that my whole life is going to fucking change overnight. It doesn't. It doesn't change overnight. Yeah. It's a period of time that it changes over. Yeah. yeah until you turn around and go, 
I now feel like a dad. Yeah, and I'm mm. now changing someone's life. Like for a woman, I'm sure it's different. They just had a fucking kid and pushed out a baby, yeah. And, yeah. It, and it, like I thought their mum was going to die when she was giving birth. That's one thing that I could give to dads that are about to be dads out there. You're going to see some fucking shit that you don't want to fucking see, yeah? yeah. Like uh-huh. that's, it's some hardcore shit right. watching someone give birth, yeah? Like full on. Right? And no one told be- me that, yeah? Like I, I wish I had someone turn around to me and go, dude, it's fucked up. <laughs> like you've got to hear some like screaming fucking Shit. hours worth of hardcore. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, everything. But I, yeah, I suppose <laughs> it's visually gruesome, but at the same time, yeah, gruesome. What a good visually gruesome. Say that. That's a good, uh, visually gruesome. But I mean, there's like the emotions are probably higher than at any other point in life because you're literally bringing yeah. some fucking cunt into was, the earth through a cunt. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like that's it so, was it was a big thing for me. Yeah, because growing up. I didn't have an old man, yeah? Okay. I don't, yep. I don't refer to the whole dad thing. The only time like, you'll ever see me okay. say dad is when I'm a dad to my kids. Yep. Not the other way yeah, around. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, watching Eli be born fucking rocked my world, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like, it. Uh, that's one time you'll see me cry my eyes out type of yep. thing, yeah? I was just like, holy fuck. Like, I've got to actually pull my fucking finger out now, yeah? Uh-huh. And be someone, not just fuck around and talk shit online or... Yeah, you know, do stupid shit. Yeah, yep. it's like I can still do stupid shit. I do it every day. Mm. You know what I mean? But like that, that change that was the beginning of everything that changed for me now. So it's more, it's less reckless. You're not running, stealing petrol for to just get in a car and if, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not doing right. it for for the fun of it. I'm not doing <laughs> it for the fun of it. Yeah, like every every move that I make day to day, yeah, revolves around. Hey, you've got kids, yeah? So be very careful on how you're going to do this. So I'm a lot smarter about the shit I do now because I'm always going to do stupid shit, yeah? Because yeah. I want my kids to grow up going, okay, look, my dad did whatever the fuck he wanted to do whenever he wanted to do it mm. and didn't, um, I guess, didn't change how he was just to suit certain things, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got to turn 30, you've got to turn 40, so you've got to be a certain type of person. It's like, yep. no, mate, you be whatever you want to be yeah. Yeah, throughout your whole entire life, regardless yep. of what anyone else thinks. But when you've got responsibilities, which my only responsibilities came to be having kids. Yeah. Yeah. And for a psychopath, you know, like diagnosed <laughs> psychopath, having kids, yeah, it's a fucking different feeling, right? Like, so I went 20, I was 27 when I became a dad. Yep. Yeah. And never experiencing the feeling of love yeah like never Mm. like that's an emotion that i hadn't felt for 27 years yeah yeah and then have that thrust upon you yeah when you're watching your first son be your own blood it's not yeah it's not someone that you have a connection with that may ruin that i can't i can't express to you the like how you would love somebody or how you would love something and you would have had that experience your entire life once yeah or or multiple times throughout your life Having it hit you at 27 years old, yeah, and it was just like... But it would have been like times a thousand. I didn't know what the feeling was. Well, at all, yeah. No, I had never experienced it before. <sighs> it's it's a... I sat there and I was like, fuck, what is this feeling? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, Did it scare you a little bit? Yeah, it scared the shit oh, out of me. Shit. I was like, fuck, I, I can't I'm be... capable a- of <laughs> something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Like, yeah. Dead set. Yeah. Dead set. It was just like... Wow, like you've been told your whole entire life you're incapable of loving something. Mm. Yeah, that's just what psychologists or psychiatrists or whatever will say to you. Did you go? To, did you have to go through that growing up? Oh no, nah, fuck no. Yeah, no, only okay. for court. Yeah, like I only went to yeah. court. Uh, sorry, to a psychologist or whatever, just to get a a report for court. Yeah, okay. just to get out of going to jail. Yeah. Yeah, like other than that, there was no. They can't help you. Yeah. They can't help me anyway. Mm. There's no help. So what, Quite. okay, so, you know, other than, what are some things, just so people can understand, because yeah. like, when you say psychopath, people probably will be, and we spoke about this before, probably just use it as, oh, he's just describing himself as some guy that's cr- crazy and reckless. But what are, like, the what biggest... are things that you live through on a day-to-day basis that you would go, someone that isn't psychopath wouldn't understand what this is? So... All right, so for people to... The general thing that's put out there is that you're crazy or you're going to kill people yeah, or you're all yeah. this bullshit. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. just fucking Hollywood bullshit. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just news. It's bullshit. a buzzword. Yeah, it's a buzzword. Sure. Lack of empathy. Yeah, okay. lack of emotions. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's me as you see me now, and there's me. I want to like do some horrible shit to you. Yeah, and like that stuff that you wouldn't. Really, <laughs> to me? Not you. Oh, okay. but you specifically. Oh, fuck. Never Jesus you, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Connor just looked at me and went, oh, fuck, we're fucked. Connor just broke a glass in the kitchen with glass on the floor, and I won't have a head tomorrow night at the comics lounge. But anyway, no, nah, no, nah, I know what you're saying. But yeah. you've, you've got, uh, you know, if someone fucks with you, you you're happy I to take it the next I could watch someone month. get killed in front of me, and I wouldn't give a fuck about it. Yeah, like day oh, to fuck. day, you just, like, That's the how, Facebook how it would affect you, yeah, and how it would affect me, I would laugh about it. I would dead say You would I'll, laugh I'll find at watching funny. someone yeah. getting killed. Not a kid, not a child, yeah, but... Uh, that doesn't change it. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe day, it changes it a tiny a bit. A day-to-day but... person, like if we if we both walk down the street, right, and we seen yeah. a, as we were walking down to the bottle shop before, yeah, and we seen a dude get run over and killed, I am I would find it um, funny. Yeah, I'd be like... Ha ha, like laugh out loud funny or... Or do you mean like? Because if I saw that, okay. if you saw it, how it depends, right? So I wouldn't. I don't. How you're going to react okay. to it and how I'm going to react to it are going to be very different, yeah. And you would never understand how I'd be able to react to that, mm. and how you react to it, I don't understand how you react to it either, yeah. Well, mine's so probably I not can, normal I, either. If you if you start bawling your eyes out, yeah, nah. I can comfort you, yeah. I could be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I'm under, pretending to understand where you're coming from, okay? Yeah, I have no understanding no of where you're coming from, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose I live with some of that. Most a, people do have a little bit tendencies. Like, yeah. like, like, if I saw that, I don't think I'd laugh out loud, um, and I don't think I'd take enjoyment. <laughs> See, I, can't, in, I can't help myself a lot. Yeah, right okay, now. that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't think, you know, like I, it wouldn't affect me either like i'd be like holy shit like other than the 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 gruesome part of it which i'd be like nah i don't want to see bones and and shit like that (laughs) and squashed body but if i saw it i'd be like i think my first instant thought my first thought to be totally honest with you would be oh well thank fuck that's not me and then secondly (laughs) what do i need to do like i need to try and help at some point would you walk away from that would you see that and just walk away and i'd be fascinated by what everyone else is doing yeah, okay. So I'd be like, okay, what are they doing? They, you know, doing this. Someone could come up and steal the guy's wallet. I'd be like, fuck, that's funny. Yeah. Mm. But I wouldn't be doing it myself. Okay. All right. So, and I'm, I'm more interested in the fact of how other people, I'm fascinated by how other people are dealing with that situation. Because yeah. I have no understanding of how their emotions are. Yeah. So how you see, well, you've got to remember, right? Or you've got to think of it this way, is that my understanding of what emotions are, interpersonally between other human beings and myself mm-hmm. only started existing when I had kids. Okay. So three and a half years ago. So you're only learning now. Yeah. Okay. Can, cause can I ask, cause I wanted to ask before when you briefly mentioned about the chick that was, that you were uploading the videos of on YouTube. Yeah. I with the mum and that. <laughs> Has there ever been a time where, when you've been doing this stuff now, looking back where you go, yeah, because, you know, it's, I can understand where the fun part of that comes from and, and yeah. you know, you're not connected to that person <laughs> at all. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, fuck it, I'll destroy your life. But <laughs> at the same time, like now that, now that you have a kid, like even if that kid, let's, let's just say, for example, like I know it's not going to happen, but yeah. let's say one of your kids ends up just a complete fucking dropkick fuck yeah. up and you're sitting there and he does something that people just start coming down on. Fucking like he's He'll going through it. absolutely. I'll, like I'll give him shit about it. Yeah, like yeah, you give him shit. Yeah. I would do the same. I'd be yeah. like, mate, you deserve it. And bad luck, you have to live with it to learn yeah. a lesson. But at the same time, if let's say you had a daughter, yeah, let's say, he, <laughs> let's say Eli, Eli becomes trans, and, yeah. uh, <laughs> and um, and you know, there's this guy named Dean Black, <laughs> <laughs> and. And he starts posting all this shit on like like relentlessly, and not just I'd posting a post I'd word. Kill him. You would kill him, I know. Yeah, yeah. But does that ever? Is there ever a time where you step back and go, you know, now Brett, just, just for a second? No, 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 not not that you deserve it, yeah. but just for a second, go. Maybe, like maybe, maybe I could have handled that a little bit better, and, and no, you don't care. No, there's absolutely no way. It's like attack, attack. I'm trying attack. to break through it's to attack, you. Attack, attack, attack every day. Yeah. Like uh, this but morning, yeah, I got, I got I got people who are you're like a nice term. dude. <laughs> I'm nice to those who are nice to me. Yeah. Okay. So, you, anyone who serves a purpose in your life, yeah, yeah, or the only people you should have in your life are people that serve a purpose. Yeah. yeah. If they don't, discard them. Yeah. They're they're garbage. They should have no uh, no ability to interact with you. One hundred percent agree. But yeah. why attack? Why why go after the ones that don't serve a purpose? They then? come after me. 
Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's that's. I, if I went out, list, day, if I went out day to day, if okay. I went out day to day and I was attacking Joe Ball in the street, yeah. oh, I'd call myself a fuckwit. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So that. Okay. So something has to warrant yeah. the full psychopath of Brett White. Whether I set up the situation where people will come after me, like oh. this, 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 oh, yeah, this conversation, yeah, that's this, that we're having now, right? Yeah. I know I'm going to get attacked to the shit house over this year. And Why I'm, though? Because of the shit that I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. So people are going to be offended by it. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, this guy's not a psychopath or this guy's talking shit. This guy's drinking Smirnoff Blacks, you know, as an example. Oh, people will find, people will find, find anything. anything. Yep. And that's fine. That's why I come on here drinking this. Yeah. Because I've got <laughs> something to do in a couple of nights. Yeah. When you post this. No, don't do that, Fred. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> fucking leave them alone. They're fucking, they're just. Kids watching some YouTube yeah, no. video. You're They'll probably take the, something you're, out of you've it. never caught my shit. Yeah, we've always been, we've been good mates the entire yeah, time. Yeah, but I respect your heart. I respect your yeah. hustle, and I'm not, you know, I. If anything, you'd be one of five, I think, people in my entire life that have never, oh. we've never had an issue. I don't see what I'd have an issue with. Like that. That's what. That's what I struggle with, Brett, and why. Why I'm trying to ask those hard yeah. questions because there'd be people out there that would be going, "Ask that. Ask that." A lot of people come to me, right, thinking that they're the one that won't cop my shit. Yeah. So they'll come to me like, "Oh yeah, I'll look how close I am to Brett. Um, he's not going to cop. You know, he's not going to fucking have a go at me." And it's like, well, the fact that you've just said that is that's warranted. Yeah. We're going to now have a problem in the future, and then once you've served your purpose for me. Uh huh. You're gone. Okay. I sp- but I see, I've never looked if, at if, it that way. I've never... I think we don't have that issue though because I, I've i got respect for you. I can't see though, like this is this is what I'm struggling yeah. with is that I've never had an experience with you where I where I, I thought <laughs> this guy's a fucking horrific dude. And yeah. so like w- that's that's what I can't... It's like, I don't know, may- maybe I just have a different, you know, was... relationship with you than, than what you have with other people. Yeah. But I just can't understand why... Why you get your, why you get yourself and other people? Put it this way, right? I, I had a good thought about something before I came in tonight. Uh-huh. Yeah, is if I had the choice of living next to me or being dead, I'd be dead because <laughs> I wouldn't live next door to me. Yeah, mm. and like everywhere I live, yeah, they've got big, big issues with me. Like right now, back in South Yarra, yeah, I've got the music still on, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> like just to piss off the neighbors, yeah. Like that's a, I've got to do what I want to do day to day that makes my life okay. a, lot, a lot better and easier yeah and um makes me laugh at the end of the day pretty much yeah so, so that's a that's a hobby almost yeah it okay. is at this All point right. in my life it's just like i'm going to continue doing whatever i want whenever i want and no one's going to stop me because if yeah. they haven't stopped me by this age and at this time in my life i don't think that it's ever going to happen so and i want that to be passed down to my kids i want them to do the same thing mm, okay the yeah. difference between me and a lot of other psychopaths is that they won't be as open and as honest as I am, yeah? Mm. Is, uh, another thing is that they will, a lot of them are lies, yeah? Whereas I'm the complete opposite in the sense that I lie, yeah? But I only lie to gain something from a corporation. A white lie. Something, something like a, yeah, I know what you're saying. Talk shit to deliver and get a bunch of shit ordered for free, do you know what I mean? Like that type of thing. Lying to you doesn't gain me anything, mm. yeah? The only thing that... You should do in your life is to do things that are going to benefit you, yeah, and mm. gain you stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, lying to say my son doesn't benefit me. You know what I mean. Like mm. I want to teach him everything. Say Eli, Arlo is a lot different. Yeah, Arlo is like one and a half, right? And have they got person? Like, do you notice that they are very person? different than uh-huh. each other? Yeah, Arlo is his mum. Eli's me. Uh-huh. He's the, he's exactly me. Uh-huh. Like you have never seen a kid, yeah who's a spitting image of their dad as far as I'm concerned. I'm not just saying it's because he's my kid. No, he is. Yeah, Even like, looking at you right yeah. now. And like, <laughs> thinking of a photo that I've seen you put yeah. up, it's, he is. He is, yeah. And he scares me. Uh, yeah, like he scares me because he is psychopathic. Yeah, like oh, he, he's, he's manipulative. <laughs> yeah, to the, not, not to me. He tries to be and it's just like, I'm not going to copy shit. Yeah, it's you know, like, you know, it's like, the, mate, you I'm know, being there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm, I'm the 33rd degree <laughs> and you're an apprentice yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You're just a little master mason, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's, he concerns me, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's like, I'm trying to teach him certain things in his life. Well, it's probably, it's a good thing, right? I didn't have the parental figures that could turn around and say, okay, this is what he is. Growing up, I'm going to guide him down this path. 
I've got that luxury of being able to guide him down a certain path. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do is pull the strings in his life without visibly pulling them, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise he'll um, go against me. Yeah. It's like if I tell him to do something, he'll do the opposite. Yeah. Which is me. And I can't have a go at him over that. It's like yeah. if I say I'd go left same. and he goes, I want to go right, I'm not going to fucking. Yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Yeah. If I say, no, listen to me right now, I'm your dad, he didn't ask to be born. Yeah. yeah. And either did I. So anyone that tells me to do otherwise, it's like, dude, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Like, I did that to get to here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, other people have a go at me day to day and they're like, well, what have you done in your life? Or why should I do things your way or whatever? And it's like, well, I was homeless two months ago. Yeah. So after that house that I last told you about mm-hmm. that I was living in in Moorabark, yeah, I had a brand new two-story townhouse in Moorabark, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the... I was there by myself for six weeks. The people who moved in next to me ended up having the meth lab. Yeah. Oh. Fucking sent me crazy. <laughs> I fucking bet. Yeah, it was the lowest. It was their worst nightmare having yeah. Brett White. <laughs> 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 so I ended up fucking off from there, yeah. I was like, fuck this. I'm not paying yeah. rent. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm sticking around up your ass. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. The real estate agent wouldn't help me. I can't even mention anything about them because they've currently got a restraining order against me. What did you, how do you get one of them? Um, I got I'm nine. not saying that in a funny got, way. I'm just genuinely wondering how do you get a restraining order? Do you have to like physically attack someone? To I've do got, that? N- I've had 90, 90, 90 restraining orders on me in 14 years. No, hang on. What the fuck are you doing to cunts? 14 years. You're a fuckwit. Yeah. You could go down tomorrow to Ringwood Court, Med- Melbourne Magistrate's Court, and get one against me. Once you've had a certain okay. uh, amount of them against you, they just hand them out like water. Okay. A glass of water. Here they do actually, I do know that they do, they, that you've only got to ask for one and you can get one. I've got nine against me at the moment. The longest one I've got against me is until 2020. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> uh, either do I, yeah. Now, the current... You haven't... I can't imagine you... you the newest ones, yeah. physically I haven't assaulted. physically gone and done anything no, to anyone, yeah. I can't yeah? see you doing I could that. ring someone. Yeah, well, all right, put it this way. The last two that got put on me, uh-huh. I'll probably get big shit for this, but I don't give a fuck, right? The last oh, two were no, from... No, no, don't get yourself into it. you got kids. I won't say who they are. Okay, all right. Yeah? One was my real estate agent. Uh-huh. That could be anyone. Yep. LJ, yeah. okay. And the uh, person. someone who works at... Uh, what type of establishment? They're a government official. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, uh, fuck, what no, is it? don't say it. Don't do I'll it. I say their name. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember anyway. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> that's probably for the best. That's... Yep. Uh, they both got one of me. The, la- the dude out of the two, because they're both for the same thing. Yep. I said that I would get demons yeah, oh. summoned yep. to, and to possess him. Yeah, mm-hmm. he went down to Melbourne Magistrates Court and got a <laughs> <laughs> got a. Um, I've got proof of it too online. Yeah, yeah? yeah, I can. I can. I'll give you the screenshots of it too. Oh, mate, <laughs> I, you don't need to. Like by this point, if people don't believe you, you're a fucking you yeah. dumb cunts. But yeah. anyway, yeah. So you've done that. Yeah. So I said, look, mate, I'm gonna get you demonically possessed. Yeah, uh-huh. and he got scared as fuck and yeah. went down and told the magistrate that at Horrelbeg. Uh, court mm-hmm. and they said yeah well we've checked up on him and he probably will get you possessed nah no, <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but they were quite concerned about the threat I had made and then I got a restraining order put on me for two years from him wow okay yeah. there you go and that was because they broke the law yeah they broke the law they threw all my stuff out from that last house uh huh like brand new cinema lounge and stuff like that that went threw it at the tip yeah at the tip yeah, he yeah. was just stab at me. Yeah, I was like, a, "Fuck you, um. <laughs> fuck you, Brett." <laughs> yeah, so. All right. Well, okay. How long have we been going for? Because there's so many other things yeah, that I want to. Ca- Fifty of- minutes. Okay, great. We're going for a bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's definitely going to be an hour thirty. This one. Um, and if it, if these cut out, then go listen to the audio version of it. But because now we're going to go down. I think we should go down the conspiracy type stuff. Now. Yeah, definitely. Still. Um, so, I mean, I guess. As people can hear, you you've had a an unorthodox mm. life, an interest. You've got your your story I've is your able own. To do whatever the fuck I wanted to be okay. able to do my whole entire life. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I I think anything. You, if you want to do something business wise or regardless, you can like anything is a possibility. Like yeah. whenever I hear people go, oh, I don't know about the, and I'm just like, dude, yeah. like because I've met cunts that have been like. 
they're like you know shifting ice and stuff like that and they're, and yeah. they're moving that along and i'm like what do you actually want to do like you obviously don't want to, you're doing this to make money in that but like what if you could do anything what would you do and they're like oh move to africa and save lions and i'm like can't get on a fucking plane yeah, get to go and do it and go and like yeah. why why are you risking this shit you know, just to make money when you can, you can, everything's a possibility. But anyway, conspiracies. conspiracies. Um, this is where we, well, we connect with it now. Um, mm-hmm. and, and I guess you're on a similar level to what I am. Cause when we first started talking again recently, we yeah. sort of spent a good amount of time. We bang, 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 bang. Yeah. yeah. Away, right? yep. <laughs> um, and Tristan's in on this shit as well. Yeah. yeah he's, he knows he's... all about it. So, um, where do we start? Which one do you want to? Which one do you want to touch on first? That you think is a can of worms to everything else, mate. Space is fake. Okay, so let's start on the. Okay, so space Brett here, and I'm not going to say I'm a flat earther. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to straight out say right now I'm not in with the whole flat earth shit. But the Earth is not a ball. You believe that there is a more of a possibility. Is this what you're saying? You believe there's more of a possibility of the Earth being flat than it is being round. Absolutely, okay. yeah. Okay. There is not a real, true color image, there is photograph not. of the planet Earth, yeah, ever. There ever isn't. Taken. There has never been one. Yeah, and if there's supposedly all these satellites that they say that it's out there, well, take one fucking photo. Yeah, I can take a photo on my phone of shit. Why can't you take a photo of the Earth? So, okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate in all yeah. this because uh, <clears throat> people are going to want me to ask this. Um if there's so you believe there's no satellites at all no. that's what you're saying okay Zero. all right so there's no satellites um what about so because these are all the questions that i'm asking as well because i've never really gone into that flat earth thing but yeah. i get a lot of emails going flat <laughs> earth flat earth flat earth josh um <laughs> when you see videos of like you know that cunt that red that red bull dude that jumped out of the fucking like yeah, went up to the orbit yeah. and jumped uh felix baumgartner yeah, I don't yeah. Know. But I remember he, just seeing the footage and seeing sort uh, of a curvature. On all right. The, now you've got so to what about that, right? that stuff? He he went up from Texas. Yeah. Okay, he yeah. went up in his fucking little balloon, right? Yeah. Up to 148,000 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever, the, right? whatever the... You will see, right? There's two different camera... Mm-hmm. There's one, I think, on the outside of the capsule and one from inside, yeah? One shows a curvature, the other one doesn't, yeah? Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, this is my beliefs of it. I can't prove it, but yep. I'm going to say that he jumped, right, out of a fucking capsule that was not up in space. It's he literally screen. jumps out, dives down, and lands on something, you know, like a crash mat type of thing, yeah? That is not a person that jumped out of that thing, yeah? You're watching a guy... F- what just- if, what if it's just one of those fucking... Cause I haven't seen the full footage because I don't know if he lands or how it exactly works, but in it would be very easy to replicate if you've got one of those, uh, you know, those indoor... Um, yeah, fly things. Yep. If you just put a green screen underneath it and film from above, you can literally like. I was watching this other movie the other night, and I look at my auntie who who was watching it with <laughs> me, and they were in the water, and I'm like, "That's a green screen." She's like, "No, it's not." I'm like, "I'm telling you, like yeah, the all, possibilities green with green screen now is amazing." You've seen the movie Gravity? No, I haven't seen that. Um, with what's her name? Bullet. Bingo. Yeah, he's a movie man. Connor loves his. The whole fucking movie is a green screen. Yeah. Mm. Gravity. The, every part of that movie is a green screen. Yeah. So uh, if you go on YouTube, yeah, and you search up, say, NASA hoax videos. Yeah, yeah? I've watched a few. You'll see water bubbles coming up, right? They're yeah. all just filmed in a gigantic fucking pool. Yes, yes. Yeah? Green screen, the earth behind it. And none of those people that are doing spacewalks are in space. No, did you see recently? I don't know if it was Trump or or Bush was walking through. Just this was just recently, walking through a NASA center, and someone had zoomed into a computer that was close yeah, by. Yeah, it was. Um, the and they were recording. Bush's dad. Yeah. yeah, the old boy, and he's in a wheelchair. In his wheelchair. And the dude who's being filmed in the background, right? It's just a fucking green screen. Yep. So this is where I stand. This is like. Yeah. So I, I mean, I may sway, but my my personal beliefs right now. Yeah. And I mean, this is this is just for the uh, the Earth stuff yeah. and the space stuff, because otherwise my my <laughs> my theories on everything else are pretty crazy. Um, with the Earth stuff, I, I, the space mission, the first one, what I believe was, I don't think that it is a ridiculous claim to say whether the Earth's flat or round doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Let's just say I don't think it's ridiculous to say humans couldn't invent a rocket that could shoot up. Whether mm-hmm. that's to go some, I don't know, but. You know, we've got the technology to shoot a fucking missile and shit like that. We mm-hmm. can 
propel upwards yep. in some way. The footage and the photos and everything, 100% doc- doctored. I don't, I don't think they're real whatsoever. We're talking about the moon, yeah? The moon landing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I, I think that's all fake. And, and I think there's just so much. It's, it's almost at a point where it's irrefutable. The, yeah, the yeah. footage stuff, yeah. it, it just can't be... I mean, they live streamed it back or something like that. Like, oh, I, or I don't think they How live streamed the fuck it back. Do you get to see the capsule like being shot off the moon, yeah, in real time. That's what that's what I mean. mean that, like, and then yeah. even if it was filmed, apparently with uh, space, like basically the film would have corroded yeah, before it, it reached back to Earth. Um, you so get NASA now saying that they still aren't able to get beyond the Van Allen belts. Yeah, mm. they've got to work out how to block the radiation out now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is like in the past year, and then travel beyond low Earth orbit uh-huh. to the moon. Okay, this is like in the past twelve months. Yeah, I have heard this. If that's happening now, when the fuck did they do that in nineteen sixty nine? Yeah, exactly. It's impossible. It's 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 interesting. The technology seems skewed. <laughs> now, my uh, tell me if this aligns with your view <laughs> yeah. on it. Because I've heard this theory, and I think this theory holds some some weight to it, but the whole agenda of the the space program and aliens and stuff like that. Because part of me, I romanticize with aliens and I want them to exist and stuff like that. But I also think it's probably pretty egotistical to think that our planet, if there, I, I believe that there's a possibility that if there are other planets out there and the universe is infinite, then you and I could be having this conversation, and yeah. we've both got fucking cocks on our heads right now. Like <laughs> anything is possible, but. Um, is the possibility that the space program and aliens in Hollywood film and stuff like that, does that lead back to the ultimate agenda of once, um, I suppose, Western society or these, um, what some people would call Zionist, uh, or yeah, by the way, (laughs) I'm not saying Jewish people. I'm saying like, cause there's, there's a lot of people that say you don't even need to, Zionist is just a separate type of, it's an ideology yeah, along yeah. with like Freemasonry and stuff like that, that there's a group of people that uh, are and have been for a long time running the world and they have a long-term plan. The idea is basically to take everywhere over. We're almost there. If, if that's the case, then we are almost there. We're at the last phase of it. And then once the world has no one to go to war with, the United Nations or the New World Order, the, the one world government, then has to find a way to keep the military industrial system running and that's where ali- a fake alien invasion comes into it mm. and a city gets bombed or something like that and then the Star Wars exists and that's, and that's how the theory of the guy that made <coughs> Star Wars, that's how he came up with that. We go up, we go out. There may not be nothing there but it still keeps the system ticking along. The whole system. Tell me what you think in. of that. I don't, I don't right. fully believe in that, I'm just, just to clarify, but... That's, that's one way of looking at it, yeah. Okay. That's definitely one way I've heard exactly to a T, yeah. Mm-hmm. The whole entire way that I believe this whole system works mm-hmm. is that, um, look at it, you get Sony, you get Xbox, yeah, Microsoft, right? Yeah. You're always given two things to look at mm-hmm. or be a part of, right? So you're either an iPhone lover, yeah. you're an Android lover, yeah. Yeah, you either love Xbox, you love Sony, Republican, Democrat, yeah. Liberal, Labor, yeah, bingo, yeah, everything. It's a whole keep all these fuckwits distracted, get them to choose something. Yeah, yeah. I choose to be part of none of them. Yeah, like mm, me I'm, too. You can go. You know, people will not be friends. They've been friends their entire lives. Yeah, and they'll be like, I fucking will camp out and get the next iPhones, and then their Android mate will be like, Fuck you, you're a loser. Why, or why politics would you, and religion yeah. divide like you can divide fucking, and conquer yeah of yeah. course it's always been so if you get all these dickheads yeah which is pretty much the entire population of the world majority, or, the yeah, majority. yeah the majority of them yeah? yeah um fighting with each other and abusing each other you know like there's family members i know people who have been family for 20 30 years yeah they'll turn around and be like no nah, i fucking like iphone over you know your android type of thing and they won't talk anymore over that it's like are you guys really going to do that shit mm-hmm. over that like it doesn't make any sense yeah but the same people probably own both of them do you know what i mean like mm. you in business always a, you play both sides i'm gonna i'll just say it, like the jews own everything yeah oh, there goes the <laughs> <laughs> I just have to there do goes it. me youtube yeah <laughs> Or is it so? Because I've heard this said before, and yeah. and you'll you'll be labelled anti-Semitic. Who owns straight Facebook? Away. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Who owns Hollywood? Well, Jeez. well, let let me just clarify with that one because there's a f- there's 
multiple groups that run Hollywood. Who made Matrix? I don't know. Jews. Who, who, who makes who make uh, the back that one up because I don't something know something brothers. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get the phone out. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I gotta look this up. Hollywood Hollywood specifically is has a has a large amount. Well, just who's Hollywood behind Eminem? Um, I don't know who is behind Eminem. Who's behind Dr. Dre? Uh, I know that dude. That who's behind about. Beats? Dre. And the other dude, I forget his name. The white dude. Yeah, no white dude. With a hat. What's his name? I've watched you on a documentary He's Jewish. recently. He's Jewish. Yeah, but is it just so this is this is the counter argument to that. Is it that <laughs> you're gonna get this fucking taken down, you can't <laughs> Is it that that if it gets taken down because I mentioned Jews and you know what the fuck's going on? Yeah, well, now they won't take it down. But is it Hopefully. just a not a coincidence, but is it just that because in West Hollywood and, and suburbs like that, yeah. there there is a, a large Jewish population that live in Los Angeles. The only and thing I know about the Jews, right, sorry to cut you off, yeah. is that they run everything that I use. Yeah. There's a large... For, for the percentage of people that they are in the world, they, they have a considerable... Um, I'm not... Uh, I'll even go as far back as saying is that like the Holocaust, yeah, wasn't... <laughs> oh, Brett... <laughs> Fucking white. All you right. won't get. You won't it's get. All you now. <laughs> you, you won't get. Josh t- Wade's son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Now nah, go into we'll, we'll it. Say this for go into it because people people want right. to want to hear it. Find me. All right. They reckon that six million were killed. Yep. Yeah. Find me someone. Six to twenty. I think okay. So find thing. me someone who's got a tattoo on them. Yeah. Right from back then, that is more than six digits. So we're only talking in the hundreds mm-hmm. of thousands. Yeah. If there was Jews killed, yeah, back in the Holocaust, mm-hmm. that it's only going to be in uh, 180 or so thousand. Okay. Not six to 20 million. So this is what I heard. Um, and maybe, um, I don't know, do the math. Um, throw up your calculator because this is what this dude made me do. So when I went to America, um, mm-hmm. I was lucky enough to go on this tour with a bunch of DJs. And the, the bus driver on that... Um, I would sit at the front because I didn't want to bother them because I was like, I don't even know why the fuck I'm here, but I'm lucky <laughs> enough to be here. But I won't fuck them off during the day. I'll sort of remain a silent yeah. person in this. So I'd sit at the front and talk to the, the bus driver. And this was this was a turning point for me. This is the first domino. <laughs> I see a ring on his finger. Yeah. That's a, it's Freemason. Oh, it's a Freemason. <laughs> and <laughs> and I look at him and, and I said, what's your thoughts on 9-11? And we started talking. Yeah. There was this Texan dude, great, great guy. I've brought him up. I'm sure I've brought him up a few times on the podcast. And um, anyway, he uh, we started talking, and then I said, "Oh, what about the ring?" He said, oh, "I'm I'm Freemason, so I'm you know I'm thirty third degree." And I knew that that was I said that's the top one. He said, "I said, are you kidding, or is that just a ring?" And he's like, "No, no, like go in the cupboard there. We've got I've got like the Jewish Bible." He said, "It's, it's not the Jewish Bible, the fucking fuck you. It's the the, the Mason Bible, which is yeah. the exact same Bible, but it's like a Mason. It's got Mason stuff on it." Anyway, I looked in the cupboard, and sure enough, it's there. And he's I said, "So what's that all about?" What is that all about? And he mm. goes, well, um, look, the Catholic Church have got a real problem with us Masons, and they always have um, because we were, a, you know, not a secret group, but basically we don't follow any one religion. All you have to believe in is, is one higher is power of any That's true. persuasion. And, That's but you're not allowed to talk about it in the lodge. If you talk about religion or politics in the lodge, you get kicked out. Yeah, they say that. They also say that you're not mm. supposed to uh, do a lot of things like... I can't join the Freemasons, yeah, because I've got a criminal history. Would you join? I would. I would if I could. <laughs> yeah. If, if they were like, here's the Hollywood contract, I go, great, I'll sign it for five you, you years, could, take my could. money, and I'm fucking out. You See you could. Later. You could walk down there tomorrow, yeah, and ask to join, and they'll accept you because you don't have a criminal record. Mm. I do. So I can't. So they don't take that. Okay. They don't take criminals, even though a lot of people would say that they're criminals. But uh, put it this way you've got people like the head of the CFA. In Victoria, what like I'm is gonna that? get like I've heard of it before. You know, like the here. fire and fucking. See, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're all involved in local. Um, in the, the what cops are they? For the, the head of everything is yeah. yeah? So yeah, yeah. the head of whatever community fucking, stuff. Yeah, yeah, is a Freemason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Head of each bank. Yep, Freemason. You know, like it's a I'm boys gonna club. get big you help each other shit. out. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, you're not supposed to, though. Their rules are, is that if you... Oh, is that the rule? You're not supposed to help Yeah, you're not supposed to help each other out. That's what they say. Yeah. But... Why wouldn't you, though? Like, I would, like... 
That, would, that would be a benefit of if the I would join going, it to, for that specific reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Property developers going, hey, look, you know, if the city councillor is in it and then I'm a property developer and I see him every fucking whatever night they meet yeah. up. If you don't I'm get to be that, though, because you're a criminal or whatever, I guess money talks. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm sure if you've got enough money, then you can... You yeah. can but anyway, theories aside on that, Sid, anyway, we start talking and... And straight up, he brings the hol- brings up the Holocaust. And I hadn't really done any research into it at all. That's a strange one. Yeah, it was a strange one. What, did, what were you on the tour for? Um, like this was, was DJs. Tour around Hollywood or whatever? No, this was uh, like Will Sparks, Timmy Trumpet and Joel oh, yeah, Fletcher. Yeah, yeah. And this yeah. was like, maybe, I might have been maybe still 18. I think I was still 18, just turning 19, right? Yeah. And it had just been this random thing that had been presented to me that I was like, like I had to snatch it up at that point and go, yeah, I'm going to do that. Cause one, I was going to get to tour yeah. all around America on like a bus that had 12 <laughs> beds, a theater room down the back, cable television. white. Like it was ridiculous. So this is four years ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah this I, is a I while know, ago. I know when it was. I and I'm was. like, <laughs> and at this point I'm like, I better cash in now. Cause if I don't, then this could be over any fucking second. Who knows? I said cunt on Facebook. I'm fucking jack shit in the world. So anyway, I said yes. And, but it was this, it was this life changing experience. Cause before that, Throwing, growing up in high, throwing up in high school, <laughs> growing up in high school, I was throwing up. I had really horrific anxiety, like, and it was all over um, certain classes. But the main yeah. thing was was catching public transport. Yeah, yeah, I had this weird thing in my head where I had to have literally a psychologist. We met on a Monday and a Friday yeah. after school. She would come <laughs> to the bus stop with me and walk me through getting on a bus. <laughs> I'm not kidding, bro. I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's fucking. I in, had some it, fucked up experiences too, and I, I would not catch public transport. Don't yet. know. Don't I only know just why. started catching it like in the past two months. Yeah. yeah. I, other than that, fifteen years ago was the last time I caught public transport. I wasn't scared of it, but I was always like, it was a control like thing it. where I was yeah. like, oh well, you know, what if I don't? What if I get off? This is my anxiety. What if I get off? <laughs> if I can't get off at the right stop, and then yeah, I get stuck. So, and and I just delved down this thing where, to me, at that point in my life, I would. I always said I'd rather be. Dead. Yeah. Fucking dead. Kill me now before I get on a bus. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. So she walked me through it and then eventually like she'd get off maybe two stops before me and I'd have <laughs> and vice and it'd keep going down. So this moment of getting on a bus and traveling on t- around the other side of the world and living on one <laughs> yeah. was actually like whatever is up there. Yeah. Something something that's pulling these strings was like, here you go. Right. <laughs> it was preparation meets opportunity. It was not luck. Next and it thing, went, you know, negative, thirty yeah. third degree Freemason. Yeah, thirty third degree Freemason. <laughs> Talking to me about the Holocaust. That's fucked up. Yeah, interesting. And he's, this is basically, I mean, what he said to me, bring up that calculator now. He said to <laughs> me, um, he, he, I, I don't know if he asked it. I certainly didn't bring it up because I just had no interest and didn't even consider it at the time. Yeah. I wasn't that far down the rabbit hole. And he said um, something about it. And then he said um, the Holocaust was grossly exaggerated or something like that. And I'm like, whoa, that's Damn. pretty hardcore, dude. Yeah. Um, and he's <laughs> like, well, he said, look, the war went for four years. He said Hitler didn't cu- start killing the Jews in the Holocaust until two years in. He said, so there's six million of them apparently that died. So what's 365 times two? This is what he made me do. I'm, okay, yeah. 730. So now 730 divided by six million. I think that's what he. I think that's what the thing was. Okay, other way around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, six million. six million divided by whatever. No, no, whatever the. I guess. Divided by seven twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So eight thousand three. This is what came out. Eight thousand three hundred and thirty-three point three 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 three. He Holy said, fuck. he said, that's how many people. Wow. Well, isn't that se- funny what those numbers come up there? Three, 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 three. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you never think of that before? Yeah, I didn't think of that. But anyway, he said, so he said, that's how many people, according to what happened, would have had to be killed every day on average, 24 hours a day, put in incinerators yeah. and stuff like that. He said, where are all the bodies? <laughs> there are, there are people. I'm like, what? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Like, what is hey, going on here? You want to know something about the Freemasons, right? What tilt? Is By that? the way, I just need to clarify because there's gonna be people out there that are gonna be like, like I'm just saying. We just started some fucking that's, shit. <laughs> that's what he told me. I'm not subscribing yeah. to any any opinion. Okay, I'd rather just sit back and go. 
Every, you know, That's a, what he said. I always say, this is what I always say, Brett. I go, there's an argument and evidence to back up any sort of fucking argument. Yeah. Some more compelling than others. But um, anyway, he said <laughs> that and I was like, okay, well, I, uh, that opened up a whole thing for me. I was like, shit, what, what if? Yeah. What if? The way I like to look at it is, all right, if I wasn't around, yeah, if I wasn't born yet, mm. right, and I didn't get to witness it, if I wasn't there to say I was whatever age when 9-11 happened, yeah? Yeah. And I knew something wasn't fucking right when I woke Me up. Me too. Yeah? Me too. I woke up to go to school that day, yeah? yeah? And I was like, why the fuck am I getting shown 9-11 happening on TV yeah. in daytime when it's mm. daytime for me, yeah? We're ahead of them. Yeah, no, that, that was, that's yeah. what still Why the me. fuck am I getting shown that shit yeah. for, yeah? Yeah. That, that sat with me the entire time. Yeah, I was only in, fuck, what even primary school, yeah? Mm. Yeah, primary school? Just or yeah. year seven or something like that, yeah, yeah? I was in year two. And I was like, oh, no shit. <laughs> well, I would have been... You would have been in primary school 14. still? Yeah, yeah, I was 14. Okay. Oh, yeah. so, okay, yep. Yep. And I was like, there's something not right here. Yeah, mm. I woke up and then it's like, my mum's like, hey, there was some terrorist attack overseas. And I was like, why is it fucking daytime for them? And we're getting shown it's happening now. Yeah, I woke up and the, the second building's being hit. Yeah. yeah. And Same it's daytime thing, for yeah. us, but it's 12 or so hours behind. After. It should be nighttime for them, yeah? <clears throat> it had already happened. The buildings had already collapsed. Yeah. yeah, so that's why you get dickheads these days, right? That's like, is it 9-11 now? Yeah, when they're going to post about it on Facebook, yeah. yeah? Say this year. Yeah, so in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, when do we post about 9-11? Is it our 9-11 or is it 9-11 for them? This might even come out. <laughs> oh, no, it won't come out around 9-11 because we've still got, we've got a few episodes, maybe two episodes to release before this one. Yep. But I had the same thing. So for me, though, what happened was um, I had chickenpox, got chickenpox for the first time. Around that time, it might have been the 10th or something. Yep. And me and my brother, my younger brother, we were home from school this day. And we got up and I remember we had one of those little, like a TV in the kitchen. It was this tiny yeah. fucking boxing and it was on the TV when we got out. And I remember vividly sitting there, like sitting down on the floor, crossing my legs and I was just zoned in on this. Yeah. Everyone else was living their life around me, yeah. but I didn't know that this, that, that thing, cause that for me was the can of worms. That's yeah. what opened up everything else around it. <laughs> yeah. And I remember watching it and thinking, this, this is fucked up. Well, I didn't know why. I, I didn't understand why I thought it was weird. But looking back on it, I remember watching the towers come down and and it didn't make sense and mm. it doesn't make sense today. Yep. It doesn't. It's not common sense the way that they came down. You can't find and another Most people building. don't even know there was three towers that went down that no, day. No. You can't find another building in existence no. yeah, that ever went down by fire. No, it's an extreme... It would have to... If, if that was the case and, and what they say happened, happened... Um, to the buildings, I'm not saying the other things that happened on that day, but those buildings coming down, it would have to be basically a, what's the word? Like a, like, like finding someone with fucking 20 fingers on one hand. Like, it's just like, it's like, <laughs> it's impossi- maybe it's, it's happened. It, it, it's no p- 1% possibility. Like, yeah. it's just not... Um, I'm of the belief that it was no plane. I'm a no. Oh, you're a no, no plane. Okay, yep. can you explain that? Because I've made jokes about that. All right. If you get a fucking whatever the fuck plane it was, right, hit a building, mm. it doesn't do that. It doesn't just melt into the building. Do you know the yeah, no- I've watched do you the know videos. The nose of a plane that that specific model of plane is mm. there is made out of aluminium. Oh, yeah, I know. It, it's. it's supposed to yeah, crush. and the building was made to to resist that. Yeah. It doesn't doesn't fall like you could fucking set a the Eureka building yeah there, on fire it could burn for fucking two weeks yeah it ain't gonna fall down no no it can't let alone after nine it hours it can or weaken whatever. the structure but not enough that the whole cunt comes down yeah. I still go when they say it weakened the structure and the, it went to dust but they found the passports of the, of the dudes <laughs> that blew up in the plane but that's another fucking story yeah so you believe there's no planes for me planes. I believe that. There was planes. I believe that there is a possibility that, I mean, a slim possibility that maybe there was no one on the planes. The or, reason why I'm a no plane, no, yeah, no plane of there. the... I don't know what the, what the fuck... <laughs> Whatever we want to call it, yeah? yeah. I believe there's no planes that hit the buildings, yeah? No planes, no buildings, no terrorist attack, yeah? 
No reason to go to war. No reason to kill one million innocent yeah. civilians. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Over in wherever the fuck they went to. Iraq, which had nothing to do with it. It was <laughs> Afghanistan. And then fucking Osama bin Laden was apparently hiding in Pakistan the whole time in a compound. But he was already dead. Before. Tim Osman. Tim Osman. Who's Tim Osman? CIA asset. Okay. Yeah, he Here looks we go. exactly like bin Laden. Okay, but wasn't Tim Osman actually bin Laden? Wasn't Tim Osman the name that was given bin to bin Laden, Laden when he joined the CIA? Bin Laden died before 9-11 happened. Yeah, no, I know. Well, yeah, actually... So Tim Osman is the guy who played bin Laden for them to invade videos. Okay, the country. Because from what I know, bin Laden was on dialysis in a US military hospital in Afghanistan at the yeah, time. Yeah. And they knew exactly where, he's, where he was and they'd, flown, they'd already flown they went his over family. They spoke to him and said, hey, we're going to do this. Yeah, yeah. And then he... Supposedly. Eventually, what, from what I know... Eventually died not long after that, and was yeah. just sort of. Then there's up like the eleven movement. years where he wasn't around for that. There gets younger in the videos. <laughs> he just it's like fuck. He gets younger. He, Man, you know, he's like hiding out in a fucking. Where in Hollywood cave. are you going for that botox? Because that's <laughs> fucking good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then as soon as they kill him, they're gonna bury him. Nah, at, at sea. Sea. Don't know photos. And keep nothing. to his whole Muslim tradition of fucking mm. burial or whatever mm. the fuck they do. When the fuck is America gonna do that? Ever. No way. There's something fishy about that that part. I think the smoking gun in yeah. the whole thing is the Pentagon. And no one ever looks into the Pentagon. I mean, 9-11 yeah, is the main one because no it's fucking... the one that they right. kind of succeeded at. But People that died that day yeah, in the Pentagon, I believe of course, that. A couple of, of people course. died. Yeah, yeah. In that specific part that was getting renovated yep. were people who, right, the day before 9-11 happened, Donald Rumsfeld yep. yeah, and co., Come yep. out and said, hey, we're missing some, such and such trillion dollars. Yep. We don't know where the fuck it went. And then next day, bam. Yep. That part of the Pentagon that's yep. investigating and has the records of that missing trillion or so yep. dollars happens to get hit yep. with what the fuck they say hit it. Yep. Come on, man. Like, are you going to believe anything other than, you know, that's a bullshit and yeah. I believe a year to the date, I, I don't know if it's yeah, the it exact was, date, but it, it might be <laughs> it might be a few days in between. I think it was today. Yeah, it was a year to the date or something like or September 10th. They, uh, Donald, Rumfeld, Donald Rumsfeld and co plus Dick Cheney and a bunch of basically anyone that was in the Bush administration yeah. had posted the, <laughs> what was it called? The, some, the Project for a New American Century or something like that, yeah. something along those lines yeah. where basically they outlined that for America to continue... Um, being it's a superpower, doing a superpower of the world, all the shit that they needed a um, serious thing to happen to them, like a new Pearl Harbor. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people that say that Pearl Harbor was also. Oh yeah, it's 100 percent bullshit. Yeah, too. okay. Everything is. Everything they is they the actually flag, came man. out recently that, that there was a ship uh, in Vietnam when they were going to war in Vietnam or something that was um, a similar thing happened, and it came out that that ship never even like didn't even. <laughs> Yeah, there's some weird... I don't know if it did exist or it wasn't... You know, something was odd about that one that they used as another ploy to... You could say the Titanic was bullshit. I've heard that theory yeah. as well and that that's why and there's there, been movies there's made. There's a book that was written before mm. the Titanic happened. How many years it was before that? It was called something similar to mm. the Titanic, yeah? And the exact same circumstances as how the Titanic supposedly crashed, you know, hit an iceberg, everyone died, blah, yep. blah, blah. Exact same shit happened in the yep. book ten years beforehand. Yep. Oh man, like that's it's all. Well, the the um the iceberg thing was apparently so. There's a because I was only looking into this last week with a mate. Yep. We had a fucking smoke joint and was. <laughs> I, I said to him, "Oh, do you know the Titanic? Like, there's theories around the Titanic." He goes, "No." I'm like, "Oh, let's look them up because I don't know them." Yeah. And we're going through them, but um, some of the theories go back to that there was a few um bankers that were on the ship that were going to america to basically oppose the the federal reserve or yeah. the, the new bank because they had we don't want no opposers of the federal reserve no no that but then i also thought well the thing the flaw in that theory is the people that they would have let off the boat straight away would have been women children and then the you know the How elite. Do we know who survived on that who knows but <laughs> the other one was was that um that it was actually just an insurance job because the that too. the people that had the that made the boats, they had two of the exact same ones. And basically the one that they released before the Titanic, which I think was called the Olympic or something like that, yeah. had a bunch of faults with it and had already been in repairs for like three months. So what they'd apparently done was got the Titanic and hey, or something like, or got, no, got the Olympic and said that it was the Titanic. 
crashed that, that <laughs> sunk, got the insurance money and, and ran with it. Now, if you were the guys that were leading Smart. this shit, yeah. I'd do that. I, I, <laughs> I find everything that they do hilarious. Yeah, I'm like, holy fuck, that is brilliant. I wish I was in, as intelligent as they are if this is what they pulled off. I'm just like... I'm in awe of that. That's the thing. Is it's like if I can't these, hate them for doing it because I'll do the exact same thing if I was in their position. Yeah, yeah, I'd be like, holy shit, yeah, I'm doing that. Why would not? Yeah, yeah, it's smart. And I think you know, just the term conspiracy theorist anyway is a it's a derogatory. It's, it's a um, it's something to throw over someone. Yeah, to do. It's you know, to, like, to do, it's a dismissive word yeah, to dismiss dismissive. someone that questions yeah. something, and you should it's question. Like, hey, everything. this is what the fucking you know stories. Yeah, don't don't. Disregard it. Don't try and question it. Otherwise, you're a conspiracy theorist. You see, Charlie Sheen is a... Uh, no, like, he believes that 9-11 was an inside job. But he's starring in a new movie right now called 9-11 <laughs> with Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is me. not a joke. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, but I reckon, like, something's happened. He's a shady bloke, and I reckon something's happened in Hollywood, and he's being given, like, look, you do this movie, you push this fucking... You push this pedal now. Otherwise, anyway, AIDS again. A little deep on 9-11, so we had to take a few piss breaks because we've been hitting the, hitting the beers. Um, <laughs> 9-11. Like, the smoking gun, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. The, the Pentagon, like you said, people died that day. The interesting part about that that one was, and I've seen people that have worked at the Pentagon that have made, you know, done interviews with it. Like, yeah. The thing is about that day, that building is the centre of the American military and, and the CIA and everything. Like That has got to be, out of any building in Western society, has to be the most highly surveil- like surveillanced, like just you, everything. Yeah. It would be the top-notch fucking shit. It has to be. You'd imagine. You would, yeah. you would think so. You'd get, what, three frames of a fucking footy, uh, video that something hits it? You one camera, one it camera on all day. And they get every frame except for the one of it coming in. It was a missile. It It was was a missile. Doesn't matter. It's been how many years now? No No one one cares. No, because they don't talk about that one. And the one that they never talk about, sometimes the Pentagon comes up, but it's skimmed over. The one they never talk about is Flight 93, which is the one that was... (sighs) Disappears. Just crumb. Just crumbled. Nothing. I mean, no, I mean, it just hits the ground. It's the only plane ever in existence that just there's no plane parts. Just, just yeah. Just is a man of dirt. Not a body. Yeah, no, nah, not at all. First time, just fully disintegrates every cunt. Or apparently, there was. Do you remember the? You remember the one that went over the Ukraine and stuff like the Malaysian oh, yeah, air flights? Yeah. The two of them that went missing. <laughs> oh um, shit! <laughs> those ones were interesting because there was a lot of people that lived in the village and that near it that did interviews with. Well, they did it with Western media, but Western media never posted it. But they would, they were saying like, there's, there were bodies on the plane, but the bodies that were there, they were all rotten. They were, they were like, like they'd been dead for a frozen, long time, frozen as shit. Yeah, and they got the fucking, uh, what do you call them? Passports. Yeah, yeah. They had a whole punches through them. Yeah, which yeah. means they're not active passports anymore. You can't yeah. use them anymore. They've had a whole punch through yeah. the middle of them. Yeah, and they were like frozen bodies. I remember those photos, yeah. They don't exist anymore, those photos. No. I remember when they were first posted and I was like... I do remember that as well. Hmm. They do look rotten. And like, it was like people ran up to them and they were rotten bodies, yeah. They were dead set rotten bodies. And that's not something that happens when someone just dies like two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Something weird about that. And they said it just, there was a smell straight away that just yeah. something... And it was shot down. They they say it was, it was the Russian. They, they, they say it was the Ukraine. There was a couple of different circumstances as to how that came to be they said that there was all these people flying to australia yeah that were yes. like aids researchers yeah like, yeah garbage yep. don't yep. believe it you don't know F- uh freemasonic um rothschild semiconductor bullshit yeah mm. is uh, it's garbage Sounds too outrageous yeah to me. bullshit it's like they were trying to shoot down something maybe that wasn't well, they shot down. They reckon that they were trying to shoot down Putin, yeah? As far as I'm concerned, all of the world leaders are all in on it, yeah? The whole, you've got Putin versus America, they're going to get each other, yeah? Which we're supposed to be scared yep. of that, yeah? The big world superpowers yeah. are fucking against each other. I don't think, with North, each other, I think yeah? North Korea is a part of us and it's our, it's, <laughs> it's our destined boogeyman. We've designed them and gone, hey guys. North Korea is like, our boogeyman, yeah? Yeah. 
They're Russia, in on it with us. Russia is, they're all in on it. Yeah? If you get to be a world leader, you are in on it. You're a Freemason. You're a 33rd degree Freemason. Yeah. You're, or anything. There's there's other groups out there as well, like Bohemian true. Grove and, and other they're groups. All, they're, all, they're, they're all the related same thing. in some sort. Yeah, okay. They're all the same thing as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So you've got Bohemian Grove. Yeah, they all go there. Naked if you're a Freemason, Freemasons aren't the pinnacle of what no, we're talking about. Skull and Bones is another one. All the same thing. Yeah. Just different ways of recruiting them. Yeah. Yes. So you're not going to go get Kim Jong Un. He's going to go be a Skull and Bones, is he? Because no. he didn't go to fucking Harvard. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not like, too. you know what I mean? Like, there's different ways of recruiting them, and they're all a part of the same big agenda. Yeah. So, um, you know, he, you don't see Kim Jong Il or any of those North Korea guys or Putin going to Bohemian Grove. Mm. It's all an American thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but do you really think Putin is the big boogeyman for America? If they no were, no. they were gonna, they would have killed each other a long time so ago. So, do you believe that there is a? Um, do you believe that the world is already being run by these people already, and that the idea of a, you know, like a, the eventuality of a one world government is actually already taking is already, already happening now. It already exists. And and this these last few countries are just the illusion of yeah. of there being yeah, this whole like hey India Russia, Russia and who and you know like. Yeah. Whatever this fucking, you know, yeah. one of the countries that doesn't have a Rothschild, uh, what bank. is it, you know, bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, cent- central banking system, yeah. It is not a part of this whole one world government yeah. thing going on. Yeah. you got rocks in your head. Yeah. You know, we've got guys who believe, oh, like 9-11 was done by the Jews, yeah, but India is not a part of the NWO. You know what I mean? It's like, mm. it's been set in stone for so long before you, I... Has we were born? Like, have you looked at the Georgia Guidestones and, and yeah, those things? like it's small bullshit? Yeah, it's a small bullshit for people to argue about. Mm. It's well, more bullshit for people to be distracted by and to really take away from what's actually going on in the world. Yeah, is mm. that we're all being fucked in the ass? What got you into this? Just my to wrap up on my distrust for the government yeah like or just in, is it just, any authority thing because that seems to be everyone yeah like just anyone everyone, who yeah. tries to tell me what yeah. to do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, like yeah. it's like hey the government says we should do this it's like why mm. the fuck should we do it you know what i mean like the police should say we should do this it's like make me mm. do you know what i mean like yeah. um why do we get all this american shit pushed on us we're not america we're australia you know what i mean like fucking rupert murdoch that's why <laughs> he fucking owns the media here yeah. He's an Amer- a sh- American citizen Bingo, Clive Palmer's man. interesting Clive Palmer's been posting a lot about He's uh, a He's a Interesting character Clive Palmer Yeah I don't like him No, no I, I don't mean I, I like think him. he's probably in on it as well He's but, got millions of dollars <laughs> Yeah 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 But at the same like time his money <laughs> He's running uh, He's been sponsoring a lot of videos And it comes up my news feed I don't know if he's you get him He's sponsoring him Yeah he might just do it to Because he's from the Gold Coast Around that area oh. So it may just go to our area Because it would be Shifty. If he's sponsoring to his electorate Yeah of course Um but basically, he's been talking about the Rupert Murdoch own, owned media and that there is a monopoly in Australia with Rupert Murdoch owning everything, that his wife's a Chinese spy and that he said that before on the Today Show hey, once. That's actually... There's Chinese spies. That's yeah, no, I mean. and, and, he, and she was a Chinese spy. Wow. And he said the reason that um, he never sued me for defamation is because he knew it was true and that he broke up with her straight away and got another one of his model wives. The Australian public need to know... This is like his words. The Australian public need to know... That the media it has the exact same agenda on every single channel. It's owned by the same group of people, yeah. and it needs to be broken up. Um, you know what he's trying to do? What he's doing it. He's Trump, just but. yeah. He's just trying to get. Hey, everyone! I'm telling you all the shit that's already out there. Yeah, that you don't already know. Because yeah. you're too dumb to understand it. And Alex it. Jones. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna muddy the waters. Yeah, I could come on here and say, hey, I'm not a 33, you know, degree Freemason and then actually be one and yep. tell you all this shit that's actually going on in the world that everyone go, wow, that Brett White it's guy true. is telling the fucking truth yep. and then be full of shit at the yeah. exact same time. Yep. Yeah, and then and say doing. a bunch of other crap. Clark Palmer's are just a big fat... <laughs> no, he's, he's skinny now. Oh, he's skinny now. All right, yeah. he's a recently... <laughs> uh, multi-millionaire, full of shit. Billionaire. Oh, he's a billionaire. He's a billionaire, mate. Wow, he just even turns his whole, we should not trust you, right the fuck up. Okay, yeah. 
<laughs> but at the same time, so can I actually, because I used to be quite um, fuck billionaires, fuck people that like they're all evil and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm down with them. I like them. Yeah, I, like, but I, they still I, worked I, hard to get to where they are. They would have fucked a lot of people over to get there. If you wanted to be a billionaire, right? I'm just gonna break all your stuff. <laughs> You're right. If you want to be a billionaire, right? Do you reckon you get to be a billionaire and still get to do whatever the fuck you want to do? No or way. Or have to push an agenda? No way. Yeah, yeah you, you have to put... Or that's how you like, got the million um, dollars. What's his name? Vodafone dude? What's his name? Or Virgin. Richard Virgin. Virgin, that's the one, yeah. yeah. He's 666 and the shit oh, out of everything. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's shitting sixes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. All hey, right. Hey, if I was going to... If they turn around to be tomorrow, hey, you can be a billionaire... Shit sixes? I'll be shitting sixes no, no matter what. Yeah, okay. That's all the life is, yeah? Is if you want to make anything of yourself in this life, yeah, is that you got to be rich. If I've got to do all that shit and my kids get to live a good life, fuck it, I'll do it. Mm. I'm sure there isn't I'm anyone exactly else out the there. I'm exactly the same, but yeah. at the same time, I'm also like, there's something inside of me that's like, fuck them all, take me down. Yeah, you know what it is? <laughs> it's... That you didn't start off like that from when the day yeah, you were born. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to be there and it annoys me that I'm not there, yeah. but at the same time. You would understand it more if you were Baron Trump. Oh, that you know poor I mean? cunt. <laughs> that poor kid. <laughs> poor kid. Yeah, man. He's fucking like, Have he's you 10. Seen the shit that's come out about him at the moment the other day? Nah, what? Oh, there that, was a thing back a in thing the 1800s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 1800s yep. in this, in this uh, like, yeah, medieval book. book. <laughs> not medieval, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, with a guy named Baron Trump. That guy, he's like, the thing is, is like, Baron, man, he could actually be the smartest one out of the group of them. Do you but think he'll he's go down be as any a meme. different? Do you think he's going to be any different? Yeah. No, he's not going to know it's any like different. like my, my son growing up and going, I'm going to be different than my dad. I'm going to be completely different. I'm going to go against what my dad said. It's not going to happen. You want to live like a pauper? You're, pro- you're, a, you're, a, uh, fuck, you're a product of your own environment. Exactly. Yeah. And if you're the ones that are in control, why would you want to be anything other than in control? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because you're going to live like a fucking scumbag. Yeah. Like you're yeah. going to live like the guys who live on City Road and make the streets smell like piss. You know what I mean? Like- yeah. Which is <laughs> what you said when you first came in. That's a good way to wrap it all up. But okay. Well, we've gone through a bit. We've gone yeah. through your, your little uh, running with the current affair in your <laughs> life. We've gone through the psychopath stuff. Yeah. We've gone through you laughing at someone being hit by a car, <laughs> which was intense. Uh, oh, shit. That one just died. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> that one will get it. Um, and we've gone through, um, yeah, some conspiracy. I'm pretty sure we covered everything that we like. We covered a lot of shit, but we could go. We, we could go heaps deeper. That. But yeah, in the time that we've got, time, yeah. yeah, I think it's been good. But Brett, um, thanks for coming in and, exactly, and being mate. so honest and. Uh, yeah, I think uh, people are going to have a lot to fucking <laughs> talk about and say and, and uh, you know, I think the, the juice stuff will get people riled yeah. up. Same with the whole, because I can see, you know, when I made you do those calculations, I can see people going, oh, because there's probably so do, many yeah, other factors that you have the to The one add. thing that I want to put out there before this camera dies okay. is that don't just believe what gets told to you every yes. day, yeah? Go Question out and do it. your own research, yeah? Go out and watch 10 YouTube videos, yeah? They might be bullshit, but you're going to get something that's truthful out of them. You're not going to get 100 percent truthful or your truth shit out of me. Yeah. I don't know everything. Yeah. You don't know everything. He no. doesn't know everything. Just go out and do your own research. Don't just fucking listen to what they tell you. Yeah. What ask the what ifs? Yeah. And figure it out yourself. They what go makes to school more and sense. they say, "Hey, who did 9/11? Oh, it was terrorists." Don't yeah. don't listen to that shit. Yeah. yeah. Go out and fucking question it. Tell yeah. them who the fuck else did it. Yeah. 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 That's it. All right. Brett White, everybody. Thanks for watching the show, and we'll see you next week. Peace. 